living with cycles and doing what you have to do when you have to do it and avoiding things that will interrupt your rhythm is, is practical. You don't need to feel anything about it. You just do what you have to do, whether you feel like it or not. And I think that's a part of the pro with people's problems, right? They can't get into a rhythm because they either don't feel excited about what they want to do because they think they need to feel excited or they have indulged in depressive attitudes about what they're doing. I think this is just a quote from my dad. And I never used to understand this. I used to resist this when my dad said this, but I'm starting to understand now as I get older. My dad says, you gotta be like a machine. You gotta be like a machine that does what it has to do every single day, whether it feel like it or not. What does that mean? That means that we have to set aside our thoughts about what we're doing. It, has, it means we have to set aside our opinion about what we're doing. We have to set aside our feelings about what we're doing. We have an epidemic in this world. The epidemic I'm talking about is a lot of people bitch about fucking everything. They bitch about not having time. They, they, they bitch about their boss. They bitch about their husband. They bitch about their lives. They bitch about everything. We bitch about everything in life, but we do nothing about it. Very few people do anything about it. I'm fat, I'm out of shape. All these fucking things. What the fuck are you doing about it? You gotta take action in your life. You gotta stop bitching. You gotta start being, find a solution to your fucking problem. Don't be the problem, take action. For every action, there's an opposite reaction. If all you do is bitch, nothing's gonna happen in your life. Take action, take control, stay hard. Work is not an option. <laughs> We're subject to work. And so if you have work, that's just what your machine is meant to do. The, the, the automobile machine doesn't drive down a, a particular road and say, well, I don't like this road. There's not enough flowers and trees. No, it does what it has to do because that's what it's built to do. You're built to work. So if you have a job, you're just doing what you're built to do. You can't have any opinions about it. And the worst thing to do, uh, to go back to this idea of living in dreamland and living in the clouds, the worst thing to do is to forsake what's in front of you because the attitude that you bring to what's in front of you will color your entire experience. It will change your character into that of negativity and you'll never ascend. You'll never get more. You'll never expand. You'll stay stuck. I become the movie. Mm. I want to feel how I feel watching someone else in the movie. Mm. When I watched Rocky get his ass kicked and I watched all these different things of failure, I was able to put myself there and say, God, man, how much do you feel now that you finally got there? That's what failure has done to me. I've watched so many things and watched someone succeed at the end of it. It's like, God, I want to feel like that. Mm. But failure causes that one feeling. Mm. Without that failure involves you don't have that feeling mm. if you just pass and you succeed and you're great that feeling yeah okay i'm good mm. what takes you years months years to accomplish because you just can't get over the hump but you continue going back to the drawing board you're looking for those few seconds after you finally figure out the equation whatever the equation may be to get you to finally pass to succeed Mm. I live for that feeling, mm. but I can't get that feeling without going through, fuck, I feel this equation. I feel this one. I feel this one. I feel this one. Oh, I'm figuring it out. Mm. So you start to feel it before you even pass, before you even get to, to, to the success part. And then once you succeed, the feeling is unbelievable. Mm.